till doctors are required to have their appendix removed before being stationed in Antarctica. This is to avoid the repeat of a 1961 situation, when the doctor at a Russian station removed his own appendix with the help of untrained expeditioners. There was a doctor stationed in Antarctica who had to remove tissue from her breasts to be biopsied. This was in 1998. It was during the southern winter when she could not leave. Equipment and medication for treatment was there dropped so she could treat herself until the spring. Then she left for the US. The cancer went into remission but came back 7 years later and she passed away in 2009. I just googled this, way to stay on topic. Why can't you work in Antarctica with wisdom teeth? Some people planning to work in Antarctica are required to have their wisdom teeth and appendix removed. This is to lessen risk as medical aid is limited on the continent. 4. In 2013 the rock band Metallica played a gig inside a small dome on Antarctica for a crowd of 17, 2017. That is a really stupid rule I guess they only recruit doctors that have incidentally already had their appendix removed because no doctor with common sense would in their right mind have their appendix removed for no good reason so Sam anesthetic doctor would seriously question the ethics of this rule. Whenever I hear this story I'd be more interested in how many of the GPs I visited in my life who could do that operation be have done it see maybe have more experience than doing it once, 10 years ago. I don't think they'd send an internist correct term. Over a GP? In recent news, doctors are now required to have their left arm removed before being stationed in Antarctica. This is to prevent a repeat of a recent incident in which a doctor had to amputate his own arm with the help of untrained expeditioners. That's not what the article says. This is a rule for Australian doctors and maybe some others because of a 1950s incident where they were able to evacuate. The Russians had no such rule. Hence the emergency. This seems like an oddly specific solution to a problem that's unlikely to recur. If your doctor is confident enough in his ability to remove his own appendix, that's the guy you want to send. Why is it easier to train oil drillers to become astronauts than to train astronauts to become oil drillers? You know, Ben. Just shut up, okay? This is the real NASA plan. Alright, the geologist sir can do it by following the YouTube video on home self appendix removal strategy now used for solving most other problems. My great uncle did his own vasectomy when he was stationed in the Antarctic during the 50s. He was a surgeon, there was a blizzard and he was bored. Piggybacking on this, everyone in the US Antarctica program must have wisdom teeth removed, even if they grew in without incident. What? They didn't include the famous photo. Well thank god nothing went wrong with his genitals in 1961 since we are just applying the same results to everyone at all. I mean, if you're willing to go to Antarctica, I suppose an appendectomy isn't something you'd be scared of. This checks out. Researchers definitely know how to add an appendix, but I've never known one to remove one. Ah. Just send a second doctor. An appendix isn't the only thing which can require surgery you know. Cool to hear that nothing else bad can happen to a doctor in Antarctica, so the problem is solved. My understanding is that at some point, the doctors had to be able to remove their own appendixes. What kind of doctor gets stationed to freaking Antarctica? Do they not have doctors there already? Till that my brother-in-law has had his appendix removed although I swear he didn't but okay. Seems like it wouldn't hurt to just remove everyone's appendices before going to Antarctica. Wouldn't another solution be to always have at least two doctors stationed there at a time? Holds up Oregon. Is this the appendix? No, put that back where you found it. Should people also remove all their teeth in case they require oral surgery? S. I know plenty of doctors that have been to Antarctica on missions. This is BS. Bedside Rounds just had a podcast about this incident. Really worth a listen. I'm 45 and still have my appendix. What percent of people have it removed? Why don't they simply train a bunch of expeditioners to remove appendices? In the West, doctor remove appendix. In Russia, appendix remove doctor.